So if uh, your car throws um, an error code uh, in the ECU and you want to look up what's going on, um, basically we can use a, um, a retail uh, OBD2 um, reader to be able to hook up to the car's computer and see at least what codes. Um, there aren't any th aftermarket Aston Martin specific uh, readers that I've learned of. Uh, the official Aston Martin diagnostic communication system is um, really unavailable to the private market. Dealers are really the only ones that have it. So this is the uh, code reader I use. It's an AUTEL, A-U-T-L, Max Diag Elite. Um, I got it for, you know, a couple hundred dollars off of eBay. Check out the blog for a link to it. And uh, it just basically, it has a um, standard uh, OBD2 uh, connector, and we're going to link that up to the car uh, so that we can read any codes that are going on. And it gets its power from the car, so there's nothing much to, else to show you here. So the next thing to know is there's actually two connectors um, where you actually connect can connect up to, but it's important to know there's a right one and a wrong one. So basically, uh, we want to hook up to the uh, connector on the left uh, that's the one that communicates with the engine. The right hand one is for uh, talking to the body uh, system, like you know, the door calibrations and seat calibrations and other things that we really won't have any uh, uh, way to uh, know what's going on. So uh, all you really need to do is uh, crawl down in your footwell and plug it on in. So after uh, connecting the OBD2 connector down to the uh, car connector, the one on the left, I'm turning the end, uh, key to the position 2 um, and then I'm going to, with my um, reader, I'm going to tell it to use the universal OBD2 um, communication and try and establish a communication. It tries all the various languages. There we go. Now it's um, talking to the car. And uh, here's the results. So basically, uh, depending on what goes on with your reader, you should be able to um, go in and look around, figure out what P codes maybe you've got going, and uh, you, uh, you can even potentially reset the codes and uh, 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 clear the errors off your dash once you understand what's going on. So hopefully that helps.